How to avoid looking nervous. You may get nervous at times, that sweaty, shaky, hot, miserable feeling. 1. Maybe you're interviewing for a job or waiting to hear about a grade at school. Sometimes it is okay to let others know how you are feeling, they may be supportive and understanding and can perhaps help. However, other times you don't want others to know that you are nervous. Fortunately, there are a number of ways to hide your nervousness. Looking the part. Realize you don't look as nervous as you feel. Keep in mind that for the most part, people don't know what is going on inside your head. Although you may be giving off some signs of nervousness, you probably don't look as nervous as you might feel. Keep in mind the spotlight effect in which you may think others pay more attention to you than they really do, simply because you're seeing the world from your vantage, so it can seem like it is all about you sometimes, too. However, if there are 10 people in a room, others may be equally likely to attend equally to all the other people in the room, meaning you and your nerves won't, in most cases, be paid too much attention. Expand your posture. Sometimes called power posing, those who show an expanded posture actually come to feel more powerful and are seen as being more confident in the eyes of others. This is the idea of faking it until you make it and studies show that it can work to help you seem and feel more confident and therefore less nervous. To expand your posture, extend your arms and or legs, stick out your chest somewhat, and or tilt your head back slightly. If possible, escape to somewhere private, like the bathroom, to engage in this behavior without worrying about others watching you. If you can't get to a private place, you can still do expand your posture. If you are sitting down, for example, take up more space by extending out your leg on your desk or leaning back and opening up your arms and placing your hands behind your head. Engage outwardly. If you are nervous during a conversation, instead of thinking about your nervousness, concentrate on the other person. Ask her questions such as, what do you think? Or, how do you feel about that? This will help you to concentrate on her rather than yourself. Be careful not to ask too many questions, however, or this might make you seem nervous and unsure of yourself. When you ask a question, listen carefully and really dig in and try to take her perspective and think about why she might be responding in the particular way that she is. The key is to focus your attention on someone other than yourself. Gaze directly. If you are talking to someone, look at her, don't look past her, or at your shoes, or that nice picture on the wall. There doesn't have to be direct sustained eye contact, but you will look less nervous and more confident if you look at who you are speaking to. Avoiding looking at someone is a sure sign of being nervous. Avoid fidgeting. To avoid looking nervous, you need to keep still. One sign of nervousness is moving around your hands and or feet slightly, or doing things like curling your hair. To not look nervous, you will need to focus some mental resources on staying relatively still. Keep your body still. Another sign of nervousness is rocking back and forth. Focus instead of staying as still as possible. Imagine yourself as a solid and unmovable pillar. Another way to refrain from rocking is to stand up. It is more difficult to rock when your body isn't in a position to. Avoid biting your nails. People who bite their nails look nervous. If you feel that you need something for your mouth to do in order to release some nervous energy, try chewing on a piece of gum instead. Do so gently or somewhat subtly though, otherwise your excessive chewing will have you looking just as nervous as if you were biting your nails. Monitor your appearance. Your poise, or lack of it, is shown by your physical bearing and the way that you use your hands. There are a number of things that can affect your poise. Hands clasped behind the back. To counteract this, make an effort to keep your arms at your sides but be sure to keep them relaxed. Hands held rigidly at the sides. This is going too far in the opposite direction, it will look like you are trying to control your nervous movements. If your arms feel tense, that's a sign that you are holding them too rigidly. Moving your hands repeatedly in and out of pockets. Focus instead on keeping your hands in one place for several minutes at a time. Buttoning and unbuttoning your jacket. This is a pointless behavior and will make you look nervous. If you are taking off your jacket, then unbutton it, otherwise leave it alone. Aimlessly moving your hand to your face or glasses. Keep your hands by your side and away from your face to counteract this. Toying with your jewelry or an object in your hand. If you make an effort to keep your hands at your side, you won't be able to nervously manipulate objects. With conscious effort these manifestations of nervousness can be controlled. <laughs>